Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're going to be talking about climbing jeans because they shouldn't work. They should be rubbish, but for some reason I just love them. So climbing jeans have started to become a staple of brand's trouser lineup, and the popularity of them has exploded in recent years. This is half to do with the different technology that's been put into the jeans, but also with the explosion of urban climbing. People want to go to the office and then continue to the gym in the same pair of trousers and not carry around a whole load of extra stuff. These are Hugo's climbing trousers, and they're made up of a mixture of different materials, including cotton, elastane, polymede, polyester, and just loads of other long, complicated names. But basically, it means they're not jeans and they're very stretchy. These are climbing jeans, and as you can see, they look pretty much like a normal jean. When you wear them, they look the same as your casual, like the ones I'm wearing here, but the big difference is the inclusion of stretchy material within the denim fibres, so let's say elastane or spandex. So climbing jeans are stretchy, climbing trousers are also stretchy, but normal jeans, non-stretchy. Okay, so you've got your two type of trouser, but why should you buy a normal climbing trouser? Here are some pros and cons. Pros. More breathable, better at all-round stretch. They tend to have more features, so roll-up drawstring ankle hems. Better for multiple sports and multiple aspects of climbing, including mountaineering. Dries quickly when wet. Cons. Once wet, they're not as windproof. They tend to get cold. Can be thin at the knees and bum area and therefore wear quickly. All-round durability, not as good. The look is super technical, which might not appeal to everyone. Okay, so that's trousers covered. Now here's the pros and cons for jeans. Pros, very durable fabric. They have a casual multi-purpose look for both the office and the wall. Warmer in cold weather, better and deeper pockets. The waistband can often handle a belt, making it more adjustable. Ability to shrug off light rain. However, they don't dry as quickly when wet. Not as breathable, they can be sweaty. Can feel more restrictive than trousers, and the fit is more important to get right. Now, personally, I am a massive climbing jean fan, and some of that is to do with how it feels, but also it's the multi-purposeness of the jeans themselves. Because often, and especially with the work I do, I need to be in a situation where I look fairly smart for the camera, and then I go and have a climb, and I don't want to faff with different pairs of trousers. And the same thing uh, happened when I wasn't working for Epic TV. So I lived in London for seven years. I'd go work in schools teaching kids. I'd have one pair of jeans. I'd go to the climbing wall. I'd climb in a pair of jeans, and I'd go home. It's just less clutter and less faff. But there is a time and a place for soft shell trousers, and mountaineering especially is one of them. Taking jeans up a mountain, number one, you look pretty silly because no one else is doing it, but they just don't work as well up there. It's the wet factor, the fact that you're going to be playing around in snow and jeans sort of soak up the water. Whereas soft shell trousers, yeah, they get a bit wet, but they dry so, so quickly. And also, sometimes they have that water resistance finish that just shrugs off light rain and snow. But my soft shell trousers are super techy. So I've got crampon patches on the bottom, uh, the pockets are all different. They're a proper alpine climbing pair of trousers. So I tend to keep jeans for indoor and cragging, and then I have my super techy soft shell for the big mountain. Now that's my opinion. Uh, do comment below and let me know what you think. But let's go through some different climbing jean brands and makes. I've got a few behind me, and we've had our intern Alice testing the women's version. So let's start with the men's. First up is the Prana Axiom Jean. These look very similar to a normal pair of jeans, and it's only when you stretch or climb in them that you realize they're more techy. They feature a straight cut that rests somewhere between baggy and skinny jeans. The crotch is nice and high, which means wide leg movements are not restricted. There's a reinforced knee section and zigzag stitching. They're classic high-end prana quality, and are nice and light when wearing them. There's big deep pockets and a waistband ready for a belt. 
On the opposite end of the spectrum is the La Sportiva Dino jeans. These babies have got a totally different style and feel to them. There's less denim in these and more cotton, and they feel almost like a pair of normal trousers, but with that slight denim roughness. They don't have a belt-ready waistband, instead opting for an elasticated waist. Personally, I think these are a great fit, but they offer little in the way of adjustability if you're between sizes, so getting the right fit is important. They feature nice little styling touches, including orange stitching and an orange waistband, and La Sportiva logos both on the leg and ankle areas. They're a baggy fit with a lower crotch and feel ready for those gymnastic moves in the climbing wall. The crotch is non-zippable, which is either going to annoy you or not. I mean, you can easily pull them down to go to the toilet. These are more traditional climbing trousers, much more at home in the gym than the office. The Osun Hurricane lies somewhere between the two other styles, giving that casual look with a slight gym slant. The blue colour is more laid back than the other blacks, but it is better for disguising chalk marks and dust. The waistband has both Velcro and a built-in belt system that doesn't get in the way and offers a nice degree of adjustability. The material feels durable, but still allows the climber to climb in an unrestricted way. They've got a fairly baggy fit with strengthening stitches down the leg. Now I've got one more pair of jeans to talk about, but I'm gonna save that to the end because they are my current personal favorite. So let's move on to women's jeans. And as I said at the beginning of the show, Alice, the Epic TV intern, has been testing and wearing some women's models. And first of all, a bugbear. She's noticed, and I think this is a very good point, that women's jeans tend to have rubbish pockets. Men's jeans, really nice and big, you can put loads of stuff in them, whereas women's jeans are sort of shallow and narrow and just awful. So climbing, jean, manufacture, brand, people, time to step it up. So let's start with the Prana Cara jeans. These have a nice, smart, skinnier jean look. They could easily pass for normal jeans, making them very versatile. The overall quality is high and have a nice fit and size. Although they look tight, they do not restrict movement in any way. The waist is fairly low, which might be your style, but can potentially expose your bum on wider moves. The front pockets are small and shallow, and to be honest, are almost unusable. There are back pockets, but if you're storing your phone, it's not an ideal place to keep them. The Caras have a very subtle look with no obvious branding, and therefore would make a perfect office to gym climbing jean. A different style of jean is the La Sportiva Tantra. These are lightweight and have a more sporty look. The shape is different with a baggier style in the back and straighter lines down the leg. This baggy look is going to suit some climbers and does certainly set you apart at the climbing wall. The logos are well done and you can easily see the brand without coming over as garish. There are nice colour features on the waist ties and stitching. A word of warning, these do come up fairly large for the size. Alice here is wearing the small, but they're wide on the waist and longer in the leg, and you would have to roll these up to get out of the way of your climbing shoes. Now those are just a few jeans that we like here at the Epic TV office, and Alice's personal favorite is those Prana jeans. She just didn't really like the cut of the La Sportivas. And I know what you mean, because those Prana ones look like normal jeans, but you can climb in them. And to me, that's the whole point of jeans. Now, I talked about my personal favourite, and that is the Black Diamond Forged Denim. Now, this is super new to the market, and I've got a pair, and I've been wearing them kind of non-stop when climbing, and I'm a little bit in love. They offer very stretchy, very tough material with Cordura fabric stuff sewn into it. But most important for a climbing jean, they're breathable. Now, it is winter here in Chamonix, so I haven't exactly been sweating too much in them, but I've been in some pretty clammy climbing door situations, and so far I have been impressed for those over other brands. I've climbed in a lot, I like the styling of them, I like the fit, and it's hard because I don't really know what to say about them, they just feel right, they just feel good for me. Uh, and it is a personal thing, but yeah. I really, really like them, they're cool. So hopefully that's given you an idea of the differences between climbing trousers and climbing jeans. Now this show is titled something like climbing jeans shouldn't work and that's true, they really shouldn't, logically thinking. I mean, jeans are stiff, they're slightly uncomfortable, they get in the way, they kind of ride up around your crotch and they just shouldn't work for climbing. But because of that material that they use, they do. And there's the X factor in here, something I haven't really talked about, which is how they make you feel. 
For me, when I put on a pair of climbing gyms and I step into the wall and I take my top off usually, I feel confident and ready and confidence is what makes you climb better. And at the end of the day, that's why we wear clothes to make us feel good. So if you found a type of climbing trouser or t-shirt or whatever that gives you that feeling, then just go for it, buy it. Now that's my personal feelings on climbing jeans. I'm sure you've got different ideas or perhaps you agree with me. Do comment in the link below and let me know. And if you wanna buy any of these models, the link is in the description below. That's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.